What's good everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Collegium Pillar Destroyer High in the black and red and black and blue colorways. So Collegium is a brand I've been rocking with for about probably seven or eight years now. They're founded by a friend of mine, Nick, who's based out of California, but all their products are made straight from Italy. And last year they launched this brand new silhouette, the Pillar Destroyer High, and safe to say it's been their biggest hit so far. So there's been countless number of releases, so many different colorways, and each and every single one of them, both the high tops and the low tops, they all sell out. And dropping this coming week on June 26th, they're paying homage to the Air Jordan 1 by releasing both this black and red colorway and this black and blue one too. So the official colorway for this red one is black, red, and vintage, and for the blue one, it's black, blue, and vintage. And they retail for a price of 250 US dollars, which is the equivalent to roughly 310 Canadian dollars. So for those that aren't familiar with Collegium, I reviewed one of their first colorways of this silhouette last year in July. So I'll link that video down below to give you guys more of a backgrounder about them and the shoe. But long story short, the design of the shoe draws inspiration from the Air Jordan 1, the Nike Blazer, and the Nike Terminator. And I think it's pretty fair to say that for the price point of 250 US dollars, you're getting exceptional genuine top grain leather straight from Italy for a fraction of the price point that other premium sneaker retailers charge. So first things first, here's a quick look at the box. And this comes in that signature white based cardboard box. We have Collegium printed on the top of the box in this metallic gold finish. And inside the box, of course, these come with that signature dust bag as well with Collegium branding on it too. So diving straight into the details of the shoe, again, both pairs are constructed using 100% Italian top grain leather. So on the toe box, we have this colored leather with this dark blue colored leather on the black and blue pair and a more vibrant red leather on the black and red pair. And I'm guessing it's just variations with the leather itself, but I found that the blue leather was a bit more smooth, whereas the red leather was a little bit more tumbled. Wrapping around the edges of the toe box, we have this smooth black leather. And the one thing I really love most about this silhouette is a really tapered edge on the toe box. Moving downwards, so we have more of that smooth black leather covering the eyelets of the shoe. And we have a thick strip of leather covering the mid panel of both sides of the sneaker. And this again is done in the signature accent color. So this black leather covers the top portion of the shoe as well. And then wrapping on the back end of the sneaker, we have more of that tonal colored leather, but in true collegium form, they've stamped on their logo on the lateral edge. We have more of that colored leather covering the top of the back heel, and it also comes with a heel pull tab as well. For the laces, so the standard laces these come with is black, which gives the shoe more of a tonal look. But for the black and red pair, they come with an extra white lace and red lace. Whereas for the black and blue pair, they come with extra white laces, another pair of tan laces, and the last pair is done in this washed out vintage looking purple. Underneath the laces, we have your signature nylon tongue, and in this case, this is entirely constructed in this black color. And at the top, we have this leather patch with collegium debossed across the center. The interior of the shoe is lined in the same premium leather, which adds to the whole luxurious feel of the shoe. And then taking out the insoles, these come with a very thick polyurethane insole, it's leather lined on the top, and we have collegium branding stamped on the heel. So the upper of the Pillar Destroyer High sits atop this vintage looking yellowed out rubber midsole. And encapsulated within the midsole, they've incorporated another layer of polyurethane here as well, which gives you added comfort and cushioning. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your outsole, which is Italian made Margom rubber soles. So these soles match the accent color of the shoe, with the black and red pair having a red outsole, and the black and blue pair, of course, having a blue outsole. We have the circular traction pattern on the forefoot, and in the middle, we have Collegium branding. So for those that haven't tried the shoe on before, there's detailed size recommendations on Collegium's website. But based on my experience, so I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I got these in a size 43. So on their website, they say that if you are a 10 or a 10 and a half, then you should go for a 43. So obviously these are made in European sizing. So the 43 for me fits me well from a width perspective, but there's a little bit extra room from a length perspective than I would have liked. But unfortunately, because there are no half sizes, I'm pretty sure going down to a 42, which is technically for size nine to nine and a half, that would probably be too tight for me. So if you're kind of in between sizes, I would definitely go down to the lower size. But if you don't mind a little bit extra room from a length perspective, again, if you're a 10 to 10 and a half, stick with 43. If you're a 11 to 11 and a half, go with 44. And again, if you're a 12 to 12 and a half, then stick with 45. So honestly speaking, if I was just to look at this shoe based off of pictures, I wouldn't guess that it's that comfortable. However, the leather that they use is very soft and it's super broken in already. And because of the very well padded insole and midsole, they really feel great on feet. There's absolutely no break in time required, there's no stiffness to it, and it's a shoe I can wear casually for many hours in a day without feeling any discomfort. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so like I said from the beginning, this is an absolute steal for its price point. 
I'm being completely honest with you guys here. I'm not being paid for this review or anything like that. The material quality is absolutely top notch. And this is beyond the quality of what we see on an average major sneaker brand. So if normal GR Jordans can sometimes run you $200, then I think this shoe for $250 is a massive, massive upgrade. So with all that being said now, I'll lace up both these colorways of the shoe and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. Being a big supporter of Collegium, it's been incredible seeing their growth, especially in the past year. I know there's probably going to be a lot of people that don't like the look of this shoe, and they're probably going to say that it bites off the bread and the Royal Jordan 1s, but to be honest, this colorway was made specifically to honor the Air Jordan 1, which makes sense considering elements of the Jordan 1 did go into the design of the Pillar Destroyer High. Regardless of whether you love it or hate it though, honestly I'm super stoked to have both colorways in my collection, and I think both of these pairs are super wearable and look super fire on feet. If I had to choose one over the other, this might be putting me on the spot, but I think I have to go with the black and red. I just like how the red really pops, and I like the slightly more tumbled leather that my pair had. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this black and blue and black and red Collegium Pillar Destroyer High. If you had to pick one over the other, which one do you guys prefer? Leave your comments down below, I'm curious to see. If you guys like this review, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, Check me out on Twitter at Sean.go and visit my website at SeanGo.ca. So until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoy this early review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.